Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly J Jewelry. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pendant. Something a bit different for you today. It's made using a donut gemstone. So that's got a hole in the middle there, if you can see that. I thought this one quite resembled a swan with his reflection. I'll put a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this pendant along with links to my Etsy shop, my Facebook page and my Instagram page. If any of you are on there, I'd love to see your finished work made for my tutorials. And when you're sharing online, please mention me, a Kelly Jones design of things you've made for my tutorials. Thank you, everybody. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and I've cut four lengths at 12 inches, that's about 31 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire, that's 28 gauge, and you'll need about 250 centimetres. Ground mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have bobbins, you can just cut lengths as you go. If you're interested in having a look at mine, I'll put links in the description below. You'll need a donut gemstone. I've got a little blue tiger's eye. So it's just a, a stone with a hole in the middle for this particular design. Mine's 30 millimetres. You'll need two three millimetre beads and a jump ring. You can use any size jump ring you like. Mine is eight millimetres outside measurement. Tools. I'll be using pliers, brown nose pliers, wire cutters and nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry, they're just for pressing down weaves and straightening wires. If you want to have a look at the tools I'll use, I've put links to these in the description below. So we're going to start, if you take all four wires, we're going to start five inches from the beginning of your wires. That's about 13 centimetres. And as we weave in, your weave may slip a little bit so just keep checking now and then that your weave starts here at five inches so take your weaving wire and we're going to start with three wraps around that bottom wire So we'll go around the bottom two wires, then bring your wire underneath the bottom wire and go over the third wire, bring your wire between the bottom two, straight over the top, underneath the bottom wire, over the third wire. under the bottom wire, over the second wire, under the bottom wire and around that bottom wire and we'll wrap again around the bottom wire three times. So that's our repeat. I'll do that again with you. So we go around, we go over the second wire so we're going around those bottom two, under the bottom wire and over the third wire, under the bottom wire, oh no, we come between the bottom two wires, sorry. Over the top, under the bottom wire, over the third wire, under the bottom wire, over the second wire,
under the bottom wire and then around that bottom wire three times. And keep pushing your weave together as you go and we'll keep repeating that weave. So I've done a total of 18 repeats of that weave and I've flattened it all down with my pliers. Cut the weaving wire off from the beginning. So what we need to do now is we need to curve this weave to go around the edge of the stone. So we need the same shape curve as the stone. And make sure you've pressed, compressed all your weaves together. Keep it nice and tidy. So you need your weave to go around your stone and depending on the size of your stone depends on the amount of repeats you need your weave to finish at the top and the bottom of your stone so if your stone is a little larger than mine you'll need to add more repeats this weave is going to sit slightly to the back of the stone like that So now we're going to weave across the top two wires. So take your weaving wire around the bottom wire, up the back between the second and third wire. So you just need to get yourself in position to work on those top two wires. So we're going to go around that third wire three times. Then we're going to go around the top two wires three times. And that's our repeat. So working just across the top two wires. Keep repeating that. Three wraps around the bottom wire, three wraps around both wires. So I've done 12 repeats of that weave. And we're going to curve it around. So it comes around the front like that. So then take your next wire and we're going to curve this one around as well. We're going to have that one to follow the weave like that. And we're going to bring this final one around as well. But as we bring this one around, we're going to pop one of our little three millimeter beads onto there. So curve that one around too. I'm going to position the bead about there. I'm 
So now we've got four wires. Pressing all my wires together. So now we're going to work over all four wires. The bottom wires are getting in the way a little bit, so I've pushed them back. We can pull those forward again in a bit when we come to working on that side. And I've pulled these wires away at the top because when we pop our stone in, it needs to sit like this. So the weave comes over the top of the stone. So now we're going to do a few repeats of the original weave just across here to hold everything together. So we'll go around the bottom two, then around three, up between the bottom two, over the top, underneath the bottom wire, over the third, under the bottom wire, over the second, wrap around the bottom wire three times and we'll just do a few repeats of that weave. So I've done three repeats of that weave and I've curved my weave. so that the weave comes over the top of the stone and now it's curved back in and reaching towards the middle of the hole in the donut there. So now leaving these top two wires out and weaving just over the bottom two I'm going to go three times around both wires. Three times around the bottom wire. And I'll just repeat that a few times. So now we need to pop the middle two, these two wires, through the donut. So I'm going to cut that wire off for now. I'm going to pop those two wires through the middle of the donut. Position the stone and those two wires are bent to the back and up at the back there when it's all in place like that. So now turn your piece over, we're going to work on the wires coming out the other side. And make sure that your weave sits behind the stone. Do you want to curve your weave down a bit tighter now? So working on these two bottom wires, I'm 
we'll attach our weaving wire to the top wire, the second wire, and we'll wrap three times. And then we'll go three times around both wires. So we're doing exactly what we did at the other end, but sort of in reverse. So it all goes the other way. Three times around the top wire and then three times around both wires, just working on these two wires here. And we'll repeat that 12 times. So I've done 12 repeats of that. I'm going to cut that wire at the beginning. That's my dog making all the silly noises. And we're going to curve this around now because we want to copy everything we've done on the other side. Then we take the next wire I've um I've cut my nails, I broke a nail and I've cut them short and I feel so lost without them. And then with this last wire We'll curve that one around and we'll take our three millimetre bead, pop that on that wire, bring that wire around to follow. And stop the bead where you want it to sit. So now we need to do what we did on the other side and that is do three repeats of this big weave over all of the wires. So I'm going to push them flat, work across all four, and then I'm going to pull it back over the stone once we've got the weave together, holding everything together. I know I've counted my weaves, and I've got 12 repeats of that weave on both sides, but this seems to fall a bit short on this side. So I'm just going to do a few more repeats so that it looks the same as this side. And then I'll do the three repeats of that. So now working over the four wires, we just got to do that repeat, that large weave upside down. So I've gone three wraps around that top wire, go between the middle two and over the top wire, then come up between the bottom two and over the top wire. Then come up between the top two wires and go straight over the top wire. Back up over the top wire and then go over to go between the first and second wires. So you're just doing the same thing, just upside down. Come in back over that top wire going to go between the middle two wires, back over the top wire and wrap three times around that top wire 
and then we'll copy that repeat so you need to do that repeat three times to match the other side So I've done those three repeats. Now we're going to leave the bottom two wires. Just working over these two, we're going to do this little weave and then post them through the middle. So we'll go three times around both of the wires. Three times around the top wire. And we need to do as many repeats as we did for the top and then pop those wires through the middle and we need to put a curve on this so it all matches on both sides. So I've done my repeats, pushed it through to the back, brought that wire straight up here, the same as that wire, so it's all very similar. And then I've pushed these two wires around and these two wires around. So now we have this shape. So these two wires here, four wires, when you've got them in the shape that you want and you're happy with that, cross them over, hold it all in place, and we're going to bend those wires straight over the weave, holding it all flat so they don't move. Can see you can have it whichever way up you like. Now we have our swan shape and the reflection. It's all starting to take shape now. So we need to secure these wires. We're going to bend them around the weave again, holding it all in place on the front so you don't misshape it. Gonna push your wires between the weave and the stone. You really do have to hold everything firmly in place. And you don't want them to cross over each other like mine have. You want them to stay sat next to each other. And you need to do the same to the top two wires as well, like that. Bring the wires over to the back. Cut them off nice and short. You know they're secure because you push them around a few times, squeeze them tightly into place. Finish off these top and bottom wires. All we're going to do is secure them by wrapping them around the top of the weave there, which is before the curl. So curve the wires around. I'm going to pull it nice and firmly so that it holds it all nicely in place.
pattern the same as we did before, cut those off quite short and press them in place with your pliers. And do the same for the other side. So I've done both sides. And I've attached my jump ring. You can attach your jump ring to either side. So there we have it. Finished. I love how it ended up looking like a swan. I hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.